technology certainly has changed a great deal of the cooking and is changing in maybe even more so now. Uh, there is good and there is bad. Certainly things like the food processor, uh, saran wrap and, uh, and uh, 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 plastic um, or uh, rubber spatula are for me great innovation of the last 30 years. Uh, but uh, besides this, you know, we always manipulate food and uh, our ancestor, you know, uh, didn't have uh, anything to eat and what we call wheat now was actually a, a, a wild, uh, a wild uh, weed, you know, which through uh, uh, crossbreeding and changing and manipulation, we end up now with this. I mean, not that long ago when I was a child, you could not eat string bean before stringing it on one side and the other side, which I tried to do when I had to, to do a couple of, uh, 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 you know, pound or whatever that my mother wanted me to do. My brother and I tried to cut the end of it with a scissor too, which of course those beans were absolutely uneatable. So now there has always been some manipulation to make it uh, better uh, without the string or to make the animal fatter or not as fat or more tender or this and that. So those manipulations have existed all the time. Now bioengineered food is something else, you know, there that we get into other area which has to be controlled. I am not, by uh, definition, opposed to anything because I think that to feed the world we need that type of improvement, but it has to be extremely controlled. You know, but without any question, if you can do an egg which tastes like an egg for me, as good as an egg, and it has half, half of the amount of cholesterol, why not? You know, if you can have a, a tomato uh, that because of uh, some manipulation doesn't need to be spread with insecticide and pesticide or anything being resistant to this, why not? That may be a plus. But as I say, you have to do it with circumspection. You really have to control it. Oh, my God.